and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Denise Wood here with the latest news from Israel. The Palestinian government is outraged as reports are emerging that the Jordanian government has met with several people who might serve as a replacement for Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. While the move is causing tensions between the Palestinians and Jordan, it does show that Jordan still has a strong interest in the West Bank, despite the fact that the Jordanian king gave up his claim to any Palestinian territories in 1988. But it looks like some people in Jordan are still looking to join forces with the Palestinians. And just last week, a former Jordanian prime minister visited the West Bank and expressed support for a Jordanian-Palestinian confederation, after a Palestinian state is established. Google Chrome has apparently removed the coincidence detector plugin, which was used by white supremacists to identify Jewish names. The app's description said it could help users detect total coincidences about who has been involved in certain political movements and media empires. Before its removal, about 2,500 people used the app, which was used to identify Jewish names like Bernie Sanders and Benjamin Netanyahu. The app was pulled down after Mike reported on it on Thursday, revealing how the app highlighted Jewish names with multiple parentheses, and also replaced the word Israel with the phrase, our greatest ally. The app has been harshly denounced for its use by white supremacists to identify Jews and harass them. Israel is considering a bill to decriminalize the possession of small amounts of marijuana. And if it passes, it would not be a crime for Israelis over the age of 21 to carry up to 15 grams of the substance. The Ministerial Committee for Legislation was set to vote on the bill today, but it's been delayed for a week because of opposition from the public security and health ministers. If the bill passes, anyone who's caught with a personal amount of marijuana in their home would be fined $78, and those who are caught with it in public would be fined $390. The proposed bill would not change the law for those who grow marijuana in their homes or for users under the age of 21. Israel is working on the Fastlane project, which is a train that will allow passengers to travel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in 30 minutes. The fast trains will travel at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour and will be able to carry up to 1,000 passengers. Israeli President Reuven Rivlin recently visited the tracks that are under construction for the trains and reported that the project is on track to finish in late 2018. The project costs an estimated $1.8 billion and is expected to cut down the ride from the current trip time of 78 minutes to around 30 minutes. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Denise Wood and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.